Number 102-21-2016. Date January 7, 2016 in Ethiopian calendar or January 16, 2024 in European calendar. Ethiopia World Light Government. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. For the Government of Australia. First of all, I greet you in the name of the Almighty God, Trinity of Abraham, the Lord of all creation, and Creator of all. After my greetings, I would like to convey the following message to the governors of the country and the people I have listed below. 1. To the government and people of the Australia, who are one of the leading and foremost among the world's most developed and advanced people. 2. To the honourable members of the Decision-Making Council of Australia. 3. To the Honourable Members of the Australia, House of Representatives. 4. To the Honourable President and Vice President of the country, also, the Speaker, the Security and Defence Officials, especially the various Information and Security Officers and Organisation. For all of you who are well aware of the situation about us and our messages from the beginning to the present, Five ministries of various sector officers, administrators of each state, members of the council of each state, mayors. Six, employees of any public service. Seven, finally, to all citizens of this country. Let this reach all of you. Psalm 89, 90. Psalm 67, 68. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away, as wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. We, the senders, guesses that the writing of this letter may be strange and meaningless to you. The basic theme of the letter is about your country, your government, your people, your religious institutions, the entire social life of your country, your industries all your cement jungles that are seen pouring all over your land. The punishment you have seen so far is only for symbolic. Today, however, it is a message sent once and for all so that you may know and understand the decision of the Almighty God that determines your fate of living or not living, and the worst action of anger that has come upon you and all your citizens' wealth and property, which has come upon you and will completely destroy you from the earth. It's a letter with a number. No matter what form or substance it may take, I think you have a God that you believe or trusted in. In fact, no matter what name you gave to your God in whom you believe, it is good if we tell you who he is, because your daily duty or behavior is known. Your God is the devil, the ruler of darkness. Basically, the main point of sending this letter to you is not to teach or advise you about the essence of faith. For 18 years, the Almighty God has instructed us to persistently transmit messages to your address and through all available media, ensuring they are visible to your eyes and audible to your ears. Through the messages, you have been made to know in detail and clearly your judgment and your guilt, the worst sin that led you to judgment. Through these 18 years of messages in multiple languages, we have been elucidating and warning so that every descendant of Adam to look their doings before the God who crafted them, assessing their deeds and seeking repentance for their sins. Indeed, you know it and listened to it all those years, but you were filled of pride with supported by the devil. We have delivered all the important messages for you to hear in our messages from 1 to 10, as well as in our letters and in the teachings we have given in many statements. If you want proof, you can access the channel at Rayo Haynes 20 on social media, on Telegram and get it in both voice and text. So that you may not be confused about the God we worship is and the essence of the God who has brought judgment on you. We thought it would be good to explain to you what was revealed from the Word of God about His identity. The Word is from the 81 Holy Bible, from the prophecy of Isaiah, from chapter 40 from verse 6 to verse 31. The Word says, The voice said, Cry. And He said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field, the grass withereth, the flower fatteth. Because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it, surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fatteth, 
but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringest good tidings, get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem, that bringest good tidings, lift up thy voice with strength, lift it up, be not afraid. Yeah. We are making our voices heard without fear. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd, he shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and mitted out heaven with the span, and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor hath taught him? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot, he seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image, that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing, he maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted, yea, they shall not be sown, yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will you liken me, or shall I be equal? Seth the Holy One, lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number, he calleth them all by names by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run, and not be weary, and they shall walk, and not faint. So you heard what our God has said to you. But you have no answer. You have betrayed him and ignored him, so you must accept the verdict. Let everything you rely upon come forth and save you. Today, our world and the entire Adam's descendant in it did not listen to the warning for 18 years. The first warning was issued on November 7, 1998, according to the Ethiopian calendar, which corresponds to November 16, 2005, in the European calendar. Based on the first message, God's wrathful action has been taking step-by-step -step action so that you may be shocked and repent. You didn't hear. You will not listen. Consequently, actions are being undertaken in the sequence of God's judgments as perceived through the messages received. And with this, you have been taking different defensive measures, thinking that you will stop God's judgment and execution with the modest steps you have seen so far. Even today, you have reached here by deceiving the Adam's descendant in different ways, in science, in meetings, in the amount of money, in different propaganda methods. 
The entire people of the world, including the people of my country, are listening to your propaganda and hope, and are disappearing while they are believing in you like their God. Because he did not repent and did not want to return to his God, and he will be destroyed by a strong plague according to the message. He will be swept away. Until today, when many messages, letters, and statements were passed on to the entire Adam descendant, you prevented the public from hearing them. Also, you have been running your campaign against us and on the messages through your organizations and your loyal governments. However, every aspect of life has its limits. Living a life constantly steeped in mockery of God's truth is simply impossible. The time of your end has arrived. Know that you cannot continue with contempt, pride, betrayal and trust in the devil as you have been doing until now. In the end, we received an order to inform your government and your people directly in a letter that holds a number, so that the entire human race should understand that the land is God's rightful property and not that of the deceitful serpent you once placed trust in, the devil. Whether you will hear it or not is not our responsibility, but yours. Note that the letters are intended for direct delivery to all governments and their people. This letter will also be made available to all media outlets as it was sent to you. The command from God is not done in secret, but in the open, because everything must be made known to Adam's descendant. You have been repeatedly advised to repent and escape from the impending judgment. Because you did not like to listen to it, here is your judgment. Despite the myriad false beliefs you have embraced, they all stem from your father, the devil. There is only one faith that God has established in the whole world so that we can live and trust in it. It is the Ethiopian Tewahedo Orthodox faith. Although there are thousands of beliefs outside of her, they all are lies and creations of the devil. You have destroyed everything because you believe in these false beliefs. Indeed, if you were looking for the truth, you would have learned from the ongoing world crisis and suffering. You didn't like to hear and listen to the messages that have been sent for 18 years, while they are showing what you see today as a sign of what you will face tomorrow and in the future. In fact, you worked hard to hide this truth so that it would not be heard. You have done a great deal of destruction to destroy the messengers and the entire people of the Almighty God. You have despised the Ethiopian world light messages transmitted through us, the servants of God. Furthermore, you didn't want to hear or see it. In fact, you wanted to destroy it. It would have been good if you had just stood there, but the evil thing you did was very, very bad. This means that under your leadership, all faith institutions in all countries have united in one idea and launched a campaign to destroy the true Tewahedo Orthodox faith. You are still on an extermination campaign. Basically, you have started the worst campaign since you heard about the occurrence of the Ethiopian World Light message. But before hundreds of years, with your forefathers you started committing an injustice that has not been seen in the history of mankind to destroy the people of Ethiopia, especially the Amhara people who love their country and their faith Tewahedo. Even worse, you are directly and indirectly carrying out the extermination campaign through your agents in our country. Through your actions, you have shed the blood of many of God's people, Still, you are pouring their blood today. You have committed many acts of destruction to bury the truth, guided by your Catholic Protestant beliefs, with their incomplete Bible, which you say we trust in. You have done a worse injustice to your own people. You have created a generation of who deny God and the truth, sodomites, lesbians, devil worshippers, material worshippers who supported by chips or by machines that don't think on their own, loosely adulterous, promiscuous, violent, bloodthirsty, demon worshippers. Furthermore, you have made all your religious leaders, sodomites, political merchants, hidden demon worshippers, a man who tribute blood to the devil, an absolute trust in the knowledge of this world. Let's remember the story of the Israelites described in the Bible that you carry, even though your Bible is not fulfilled. 
He has been testifying to you with his word in your hands about what God did to bring the Israelites out of slavery in the land of Egypt, how he saved them and how he destroyed many kingdoms and brought them to the place he intended. The Promised Land It is still witnessing on you today. Prior to your fulfillment and ultimate destruction by the great disaster, we have detailed your conduct and impending demise in our messages spanning from 1 to 10. It is not necessary to explain again. We don't assume that you all governments don't know this, you know very well, but because of the people who don't know, we are forced to remind. This is just to remind those who are interested in hearing our advice. You can find all the reasons for your judgment and destruction from the Ethiopian World Light messages. However, for 18 years, we have been sending the messages and letters to your embassies in our country with trust every time they are released. The evidence is in our hands. After you are caught and have no listeners, before you are wiped out from the land, maybe you will find a way out. So, don't waste a minute, read this letter without delay. As an individual, as a society, as an institution, as a government, as a religious organization, we urge you to let all your citizens know the truth. Even though it is late, seek the best way, and throw yourselves into the hands of God, offering advice and reminders has never been dull. We always advise and say that the best thing is to repent and fall into God's hands. But we can tell you with certainty that Protestant, heretics and Catholic will be completely destroyed. Because they insulted God's Holy Spirit, they did not follow his advice and teachings, they boldly rejected and reduced all the truth of God. And because they did all of this, they will not be saved and will be included in the judgment. Apart from this, if you say that you will continue to follow the way of rebellion, betrayal, disdain, pride and trust in the devil, if all the suffering of the world that you have seen until now is not a sign to you, the following will happen. The coming disaster will multiply its scope, breadth, weight, depth and energy by seven times every time your pride increases. It will multiply again seven times seven until you disappear from the face of the earth. All kinds of plagues will be poured and you will be swept away. If you believe it is best to do what God permits and desires rather than becoming lust, then the choice is in your hands. But we have no faith or expectation that you will do this. Because you are a completely obedient servant of the devil. In any case, we would like to inform you about our conditions. Because you have to do it to save at least a remnant. 1. The first main thing you should is to convey to all the people the messages from 1 to 10 that have been transmitted for 18 years. Our numerous explanations and lessons in every language. Spread them all over the world and through your media that has crowded the earth and the sky, on the television, in the social media, in the radio, in the newspaper, and in all your press publications, without adding or improving a single word. Until we say it is enough, you must not stop. 2. There are things we would like to inform you about in this letter. A. So that you can have a clear understanding of who named our name. Our name is Ethiopia World Light Government and we got our name from the Almighty God. The God of Abraham, Trinity. B. Because Ethiopia is glorified in the presence of God by her faith, with her two Hedo Orthodox faith, she conquered the whole world. As a result, the entire world has been given as a captive to the victorious Tewahedo Orthodox faith and Ethiopia. The decision is God's. For those of you who do not have faith and action, who believe in your power, knowledge, money and wealth, we know for sure that you will not give it more than a fairy tale meaning. But listen to it as a witness, whether you laughed and mocked at it, it is your turn. Because our turn is so close, you will be paid in kind. 3. In any case, you are required to confirm in correct ways that you are fully willing and obedient to carry out the order that is transmitted to you from Ethiopia's world light. Government without any refusal, complaint or modification within the time limit given to you. 
We are informing you in this letter that you should carry out our orders unconditionally, not that you should come forward to argue with the spirit of negotiation. You know that this happens only when there is equality in being government or in any situation. But from our point of view, this is not the case. We act according to the responsibility given to us by God to govern the people and the world as he wills, so that all the inhabitants of the land must understand what we are commanding and proclaiming, and it is his duty to obey the laws of God. So there is no other way but to listen and obey. For what you should remember is to answer your question why all of you have been weighing your judgment before God for a long time, and since the last judgment without appeal was given to execution, you should understand that it has been many years since the time for appeal has passed. There is a time for everything. Let us remind you of the word of God. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together. Therefore, there is a time for everything. You also had your time and opportunity in this law of God. But for many ages you were associated with the devil and planted all the works of darkness and lived there, your time is up. You were planted, you were built, you seemed to be an eternal resident, you reigned over the whole earth for thousands of years with your rebellion and dark deeds. And now the time of your creation has come to an end, and the time has come for you to crumble, to be uprooted, to die, to dry up to turn to dust. Today, we want to tell you in this letter firmly. Your running of era is over, it's over. 5. If you intend or move to disrupt the execution of the Ethiopian world light government by any means, method or strategy, whether covertly or openly, we ask our trusted God to take strong and decisive action without any warning or warning. Just as you spread your tongue and spread your propaganda on all creatures, if you dare to give any opinion on Ethiopia World Light Government and its servants, if you think about it, the doer and the thinker will be swept away by a terrible plague. Enough of your disgusting shame and tongue whipping. What you should note is that you are all people and rulers who have been found guilty and judged before God's righteous judgment. 6. Not only that, you are still taking destructive action based on the fierce and bitter hatred and insatiable revenge you have held against Ethiopia and its people since your forefathers, because of the Tewahedo faith that God firmed against Ethiopia and its flag. The Almighty God, who saw all this rebellion of yours, gave his judgment. Ethiopianism, Tewahedo faith, the covenant symbol, her green-yellow-red flag, have conquered the whole world. Time has elapsed since our God made this declaration. He affirmed with his glorious name. Pay attention. The whole world and its properties were given to the victorious Tewahedo faith. Let me assure you again that you have been given to Ethiopia. The Ethiopia World Light Government is firmed as a government to lead this country, which is seen in love with the Almighty God Trinity and the Virgin Mary, and to rule the whole world. It was decided that the Emperor and the kings who reign together should rule the world according to their position. So, even if you find it hard to hear or accept this, even if you think it's ridiculous, even if you see it as a myth, the truth is this and this alone. There is no earthly or heavenly power that can prevent or stop this judgment and decision of God. You must know that the decision of Almighty God is a non-negotiable truth. Note that a captive nation possesses no right to resist or oppose, rather it is obliged to conform to the directives it is given. We expect that you will not listen completely according to your heart's desire and your pride. Because of this and based on your rebellion, as described in our messages, until you kneel down, the action will be taken with all kinds of sweeping and plagues that have not been seen in the history of our Earth's age. 
you will not have offspring or remnants left behind. This is how your fate will be sealed. 7. The Ethiopia World Light Government fulfills the will of God in all its actions to fulfill the responsibility given by the Almighty God Trinity and the Virgin Mary. Therefore, as an individual, as a group, as an institution, as a society, as a country, as a continent, we will see and weigh how you have obeyed and received it. After that, we will explain to you the next step or order and its implementation. 8. In any way, method or trick, secretly or openly, if you take action to block, disrupt and destroy the Ethiopia World Light Government whenever it is working to establish its rule and power, you will make it easier for us. We will hand you over to the action. If you act as an individual, as a group, as an institution, as a country, as a government, a destructive and bloody action that will not give you breath will be taken against everyone who has committed the act and cooperates with you. On this occasion, we would like to assure you that our rule or administration does not tolerate or bear any kind of obstruction, attack, or violence. 9. Our first duty, which should be clear to all the descendants of Adam, is to plant the Ethiopian World Light Government by instilling the temporary transitional laws of Almighty God, the law of Trinity, in Ethiopia. Since all the activities are uprooting and planting, demolition, planting, and renovation activities are carried out widely. Therefore, in this movement of demolition and planting, all the destructive diabolical plants will be uprooted and completely destroyed. They will be renewed and planted as new light events. This will happen all over the world. 10. Actions taken against countries that persist in their disobedience will result in destruction that they have never seen or heard of in their previous history and age. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, the destruction of Noah's day, will be considered insignificant compared to the current wrath. 11. As soon as you receive this letter, which informs the advice, orders, conditions and strongly warns of the Ethiopia World Light Government, act with a sense of responsibility, in the impending sweep towards timeless destruction. The sole opportunity for salvation from extinction is to give your hand to the Ethiopian World Light Government, adhering to our guidance without hesitation. Even to have a remnant, you have to do this. 12. The nations that will do summit meeting, discuss with their people, and swiftly take practical steps to fulfill directives are those that make the right choices. As it is our duty and responsibility, we will seek God's permission, upon receiving the directive to accept that country. We will send our representative to the surrendered country. After our representative went to their country and when all the important things are done as we have planned and according to the implementation of the process, the peace of the country will start to return. When the work of the person sent is completed, the country will be restored to peace. The surviving people will also be part of Ethiopia's resurrection. The country will also embark on a process of re-establishment. The nations that persist in their disobedience, because they despise counsel and commandment, God's wrath will endure until their end. Even if they try to return, it will be an uphill climb for them. It will also be difficult to say that they are survived. Perhaps only a population of thousands, not more than one village, will remain. Especially the American government and the people in the other name Babylon. Your destruction and the action taken against you will be a shock to your obedient governments all over the world. Weighed in the scale of your government and people, the countries that have done and are doing the same behavior with you will drink the cup that you drink. As much as you think in one heart, in one lung, in one conscience, as a counselor and as a doer, you are completely obedient to the devil and are his obedient subjects. Because of this, every punishment that is done to your government and people will be applied to other countries. Let us inform you about the countries that have the same destiny as yours. 1. United Kingdom government and people. 2. France government and people. 3. German government and people. 4. Italian government and people. 5. Catholic which is known as the Vatican under the Italian government, in addition to her crime similar to yours, she has been unparalleled in destroying Tewahedo Orthodox, 
which is the path of truth that God has paid for her. She is the complete destroyer of the ways of salvation of all people, as she has destroyed many innocent people of God in the name of Christianity, she will be destroyed without having a remnant. The Protestant faith, that came out of her womb like an amoeba with its multiplied branches, will also be completely destroyed. 6. Canada government and people, 7. Spain government and people, 8. The government and people of Portugal, Belgium, Ireland, Denmark, Sweden, Poland, Netherlands, Australia, Norway, Finland, Scotland, Mexico, New Zealand, Japanese, South Korea, Argentina, Brazil, Germany, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, India, England, France, South Korea. Since these countries seem to be absolute the same as you, and they obey you, they have lived together with you in all the destruction. So everything that is done or taken against you will be done to them. 13. In the end, the American government and people who have received this letter, as well as all the governmental and public institutions listed in the introduction, with all your people who claim to be the people's representatives, listen carefully. We would like to inform you that a powerful scourge that has come to destroy you is on the way to destroy you. Until now the delay was only until the letter containing the message of this last warning it to be in your hands or a copy of it must be delivered to your door and also in your territory. Now the letter is delivered to you. After this, the responsibility will be yours. The only thing you can do is to think about it within the limits of the time given to you and consult with your people and to carry out according to the orders. If it doesn't happen or if you look at it with contempt as you are used to, both of them are the answer, so you have been given a time limit of 30 days to think about it. We strongly urge you to submit your response within this time frame. We will begin counting the days from the moment this letter leaves our possession and reaches your state. Be aware that if this letter is received by anyone within your state, the countdown will commence. We remind you once again that your answers and decisions will not be accepted by us after the deadline. Perhaps, if there is such a possibility, we will receive it when we obey God's direct command. You can understand from the messages that the action will take place as described in message 1, message 3, message 5, message 8, message 9, message 10 and earlier letters that were written to you. From the messages that have been sent for 18 years, there are God's words of judgment that have been transmitted from the word of God in each of the messages. The words weighed you and found you that you are not enough so that you don't have trouble understanding the main words from our 81 Bible, we quote their numbers from the first message. You will find the rest when you look at the other messages. Quoted from message 1, about his divinity, Isaiah 40 verses 12 to 19, how everything you depend on will be destroyed, Isaiah 47 verses 12 to 15, the desire of your father, the devil, Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 14, what have you done with the devil you trust and the result? Isaiah 14 verses 15 to 21. The word that God has decided to judge you and do to you. Isaiah 14 verses 22 to 23. Where America and England and their allies were declared to be extinct. The revelation of John 18 verses 2 to 4. A warning to those who cooperate with America and England and the actions implemented against America in which they have placed their trust, the revelation of John 18 verses 4 to 24. The answer given to humankind because you stood with your rebelling, Isaiah 66 verses 15 to 16. It is up to you to see the judgments and reprimands that have been passed on to you for 18 years in message 2, message 3, message 5, message 8, message 9, message 10. You had neglected and left all the last warnings of the calls to repent. Let it be clear to you that this letter is neither intended for advising, calling, nor issuing warnings. This letter informs you that if you do not comply with the condition, after the specified time frame the action of your conclusion will be taken. 14. We would like you to know that the reason for those who did not directly receive all the information mentioned in this letter stems from failures in various communication methods. 
Also, we would like to inform you that the contents of any letters sent with this letter are your responsibility and that you will be judged by the contents of the letter and will be included in the condition. Note to all descendants of Adam, this numbered letter, which sent from Ethiopia's World Light Government is written to reach any country by any means, whether it is in the hand of an individual in any country or state, social media, press results, television and other means. Nonetheless, since there is no country which the letter doesn't include, the letter will be fully enforceable in any country where it arrives, irrespective of its landing country. There is no reason why it will not be executed if the time limit has passed on any country that has not fulfilled the condition. There will be no escaping by saying that I have received it or not. Because the whole world is obeying the devil's commands and executing them, there is no country on earth where the measures will not be taken because of this letter. The vast majority of people worldwide use social media, leaving only a few exceptions. So, we consider it has arrived. Saying I didn't hear or doesn't care doesn't work. Rather, we say that it would be better for any government and its citizens to listen to it. It does not save him, except increases his judgment by not listening. Therefore, we are telling you again and again, after this letter has left Ethiopia and crossed the border of Ethiopia, we will consider it to have reached the whole world and we will start counting the 30 days. As these letters from us contain different evaluation standards, especially the countries that claim to be developed countries, the contents of their letters are mostly similar, but in some places, what is revealed in one letter is not revealed in another. As they are, all our letters weigh every nation according to its conduct and faith, and according to the time limit they will implement the execution of the judgment. After the deadline, at any time, hour, day, when God wills, on a day that no one knows, the whole world will be entered to the complete destruction, great plague and fire. The only possible way to be saved is to recognize and accept the Ethiopia's world light government, even to have a remnant. You must beg on your knees down and be surrendered completely. Other than that, there is no way. If you have any, it's your choice, just go with the one you choose. If you have the idea to approach us, you can contact the members of the Ethiopian World Light Family Councils all over the world. This will only happen before the deadline. Let continuous gratitude flow like a stream to the righteous judge, the Almighty God, the Trinity of Abraham, who has guided us to this moment, and to our Most Holy Virgin Mother. Amen. With sincere respect, the servant of the Almighty God and Virgin Mary, from the land of where the glory of the Holy Trinity is revealed and being praised from the inheritance land of Virgin Mary. Ethiopia, <laughs> Ethiopia and Bran, Ethiopia, Yalamogaji. Nazi Ilak Alush Bait in your Mimder gets at Alay, Kafabelo, Yenak Salu, Yakabran. Exavir some Yalama pirate, Bender Hululagi Massaganal. And the Um Dingle, Kudusan Lik Anamalat, Kudusan Samatata Batu Chachin, Natu Chachin, and you Yakabru Batal. 